In this video, I'm going to be playing a game of American Mahjong. I'm going to be acting as each player, so I'm going to be doing a lot of walking around. I'm going to also be providing commentary as we go so that you can get an idea of what it's like to play the game. The Charleston is done. We just incorporated that cross pass. So the game now moves into phase two, the pick and discard phase of the game. If you made any mistakes in the Charleston, you can recover during the pick and discard phase of the game. So don't fret, just keep going. Because now you get to pick one tile at a time and discard one tile at a time until you complete your hand. So we're going to have East discard. We'll have them discard the two crack. And you just put it out in the middle and say it out loud. Two crack. You want to say it loud enough for everybody to hear. That's just a courtesy. Also, when you play the game, Keep your hands to yourself. Don't put your hand out here into the play area. This needs to be visible to every player at the table. And if you have your hand out here, you're going to hide tiles. So keep your hands behind your rack or in your lap and wait until your next pick. And then you would reach for the tile, pick it and put it in your rack. So keep your hands to yourself. Two crack was discarded. Now, the next player picks and discards. This process goes counterclockwise. So the player to my right is going to pick next. When you pick a tile, you're going to reach for it. It's best to put your thumb on the face so that nobody can see that tile and then you put it directly in your rack, into the sloping part of your rack, right here. That's called picking and racking. So I'll do it again. You don't want to pick it up like this because this player can see your tile. Don't do that. Don't look at the tile on the way in. Just pick it up, thumb the face, and bring it into your rack. Once it's racked, Nobody can claim the previously discarded tile. Every discard can be claimed if you have enough tiles to complete a block. And it has to be a block of three identical tiles or more. You cannot claim a discard for a pair and you cannot claim a discard for a block of single tiles. Whether it be a one zero or a year block or news, you cannot claim discards to complete those blocks. You have to draw them yourself, unless you're ready to win, of course. So for this player, we reached out, we picked it. Oops. You pick it, thumb the face, and put it in your rack. Now that's not a rule, that's really more technique. So have good technique, Hide your tile on the way in. Don't look at it until it's wrapped. Then you can look at it. Because until it's wrapped, anybody can claim that previous discard. So if I'm drawing and someone says, wait, you got to put it back. And they can take the tile because you didn't rack yet. It's customary to count to three in your head before you pick and rack. That gives everybody at the table time to decide on that discard. So the two crack was discarded. I'm gonna count one, two, three, and then I'm gonna pick, thumb the face, rack the tile. And now nobody can take this tile. And it cannot be taken any time during the game. Once a tile is discarded, it cannot be picked up. So we got a three bam. We're gonna keep it and discard an eight crack. So I'm gonna discard an eight crack. I'm gonna say it loud enough for everybody to hear, 
a crack. And you just put it out there randomly in the middle. And now it's this player's turn. So this player's not interested in an eight crack. This player's not interested in an eight crack or a two crack for that matter. So we're going to draw for this player. Pick, thumb, rack. We got a flower. Now I don't know if we're going to need that or not, but we have discards. So let's just discard these and keep that flower for a little while. Let's see, that seven bam does have some consecutive run, but we are pretty solid with those tiles. Let's discard seven bam. Nobody wants seven bam. So we're gonna draw for this player. We got a five dot. We don't need wins, so let's discard the wins. North. Nobody can take a north. So we're gonna draw for this player. They drew a west. They don't want any wins. West. Now we're gonna draw for this player. They got a six dot. Let's discard the red dragon. Red dragon. Now, we just went through that second wall. We're gonna push this wall out. Curtsy, this is when you curtsy. Some people like to turn the last tiles on the end of the wall to indicate the end of the wall and you know that you don't pick from here, you pick from the center of the table. So this tile that's turned, the, sat, the stack, that's called the tail. If you do that, it's just a little reminder to not pick from the tail. We got a green dragon. Maybe we could use something with 2468 and the matching dragon. Either way, we don't need this four dot. Four dot. We're going to draw four north. They drew a flower. They don't need the south. Let's discard that. You really don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We're going to draw for east. Five bam. They don't need a five bam. They want cracks. We're going to draw for south. They drew a two crack. Let's get rid of the seven dot. Nobody wants seven dot. We're going to draw one bam. I don't think we can really use either one of these. I think they should totally focus on two, four, six, eight news. Let's discard the green dragon. Nobody can take the green dragon. So we're going to draw. Green dragon, nobody wanted it. We're gonna discard. Now we're gonna draw for east. They got a seven crack, that's their suit. Now they have two off suit tiles. I think we can get rid of those. Let's discard the eight dot. Eight dot and nobody can take it. So we're gonna draw for south. They drew a seven crack and they don't need a seven crack. So we're gonna discard a seven crack. This player needs that seven crack, but they can't take it because they have none. This is not a game where you can pick up a discard and put it in your hand and then discard something. Anytime you pick up a discard, you have to make an exposure to complete a set. So you have to have the tiles to go with it to complete that block of tiles. We're gonna draw for west. <gasps> they got a south. Let's discard this one bam. 
2468 news. This is concealed, so they have to draw it themselves. Remember the C? This hand has a C by it. So they have to draw everything themselves until they're ready to win. We're going to draw for north. They drew a flower. We'll keep it. And they totally don't need this two bam. Two bam. This hand is concealed. Even though it looks pretty and they might want to take it, they can't take it. It's concealed. They could play the very first hand though, but they would have to use this joker to complete that block of four identical twos. That would leave them without the ability to do the same for the four of a kind for the four bam and the four of a kind for the six bam and they only have one eight bam. I think they should let it go and stick with two, four, six, eight news. They're only one discard from being ready to win on that hand. That's pretty good. We're gonna draw four east. They got a nine dot. They need cracks, not, nine, not dots. So we're gonna discard nine dot. They have a pair, but the hand they're going for, they don't, they don't need a, pe a pung, they need a kong. Two flowers, which they have right here. One, three, five, and one suit, kongs. They have a long way to go though. They got a nine bam. They don't want a nine bam. Nine bam. Not interested. Not interested. Not interested. We're gonna draw one dot. That's a discard. One dot. It's this player's turn, but this player might be interested in that one dot. They really don't need it. So it's this player's turn. Six bam. We need one, three, five, seven, nine. We need a seven bam. So we're gonna discard the six bam. They got a flower. They don't need the six dot. So let's throw that. I think we should have them play six, seven with dragons and the flowers. The Joker can help them with the sixes. Six dot was thrown. We're going to draw now for south. They got a west. Discard. Nobody wants a west, so now this player is going to draw. White dragon, not helpful. Let's discard. Nobody can take a white dragon, nor does anybody want it. We're going to draw. We got a red dragon. There is a hand on here that might use the one, three, five in cracks with the dragon. So let's keep it. And let's give up on the nine bam. The hand I'm thinking about is the fourth one down under odds. We're going to draw for east. Four crack. Let's get rid of the one crack. They probably won't use that four crack, but they totally, oh, you know what? We were thinking of the one, three, five, seven, nine. Let's keep the one crack. Let's get rid of the four crack. Four crack. They can't take a four crack, so we got to draw. They got a five dot. Let's discard the six dot. I think they should play the very first hand under consecutive run. It's a one suit, one through five range. Nobody wants the six dot, so we're gonna draw four west. Nine crack, nobody wants that. Or this player doesn't anyway. 
Nine crack. This player has a nine crack, but they can't take it. They don't have enough for it. And the one, three, five, seven, nine, one suit option is not an option for them right now. The hand I'm talking about is the very first hand, one suit, where they need a pair of nine cracks. You cannot claim a discard for a pair. You have to draw it yourself unless you're ready to win. So we're going to draw. Eight bam. That's not a keeper. Eight bam. And that player's not ready. They can't take it. They still have a discard. Joker. Let's discard the one crack. No, wait, we want to keep that. We were thinking about one, three, five. We have to make a choice now. One, three, five, seven, nine, or six, seven, red. I think the six, seven, red is better for this player. There's one red dragon out, so it's a little risky. Let's discard the eight crack. Eight crack. They're playing one, three, five, seven, nine. They're playing two, four, six, eight, and bams. They're playing dots. They need a five dot. Jokers would be nice. <gasps> Joker! Oh yeah, they needed that. Let's discard this three bam. We don't need a three bam. Even if it looks pretty, it doesn't fit because this is two, four, six, eight, not consecutive run. We're gonna draw. Five bam, looks pretty, but we're not playing consecutive run. We're playing two, four, six, eight. We're gonna discard the five bam. Nobody can take that five bam, so we're gonna draw for north. East, nobody wants the east. We're gonna draw for east. South, nobody wants south. South. Now, did you see me get up and reach across the table like that? If anybody ever does that, it's because you didn't push the wall forward. So we need to keep that wall pushed in. It's just a courtesy. North. We don't need a north. We're going to draw for west. Four dot. That's an even number, but we're pretty set with this hand. We need a two bam and an eight bam. One or the other will get us ready. Let's discard that. Four dot. And let's push the wall forward. A nice good push. Now everybody can reach it. Four dot. This player might want that. They need a pair of ones, a pung of twos, a kong of threes, and a pung of fours. I think we should take it. When a discard is claimed, turns can be skipped. In this case, we're skipping these two players. So this player, since they have a four dot and a joker, they can make a three of a kind with that discard. So they're going to take the discard and put it on their rack. There's a reason for that being the first step because you want to make sure that you heard the discard correctly. Sometimes people might misname a tile or you might hear it incorrectly. By putting the tile on your rack first, it's a good validation. So we're going to take the four dot, put it on our rack. Then we'll take the four dot from our hand and put it with the other four dot and add the joker. And you want to put the joker in the middle. Because if you have any other exposures, you want to make sure that that joker is with the right block of tiles. Now we're going to discard a two crack. 
Two crack was discarded. Nobody wants it. We're going to draw for west. Eight crack. It's an even number, but we want bams. Eight crack. This player is playing six, seven, not an eight. We don't need an eight. We're going to draw for north. Oh, three bam, three bam. Let's get rid of the five dot. We don't really need that. Nobody can take the five dot. Now this player, they need a five dot, but they need it for a pair. They cannot claim that discard for a pair. If you look at the very first hand under consecutive run, it's one color, one suit, and they need a pair of five dots. They're gonna have to draw it. There's only one out, so they're okay. Let's draw for east. Nine, bam. We don't want it. We're going to draw for south. Red dragon. This player needs a pair of red dragons, but they can't call for it. Can't call for a pair. Red dragon was discarded, so now we're going to draw for west. Flower. We don't need a flower here. We need to discard a flower. You can discard flowers. You just say flower. It doesn't matter what number it is. You just say flower. First one out. It's always a cringeworthy moment. Nobody wants it in this case, so it's okay. Flower. Somebody might want it actually, but they may not be ready for it like this player here. I think they need four flowers and they only have two. They have no jokers, so they're not ready for it. We're gonna draw. Three crack, they needed that. Okay, they have a pair of flowers, pair of ones, pair of threes, pair of fives. If they could get a seven bam, they could play that second from the bottom hand. Let's discard the five bam. Nobody wants five bam, we're gonna draw for east. Eight dot, nobody wants it. Eight we're dot. gonna draw for south. Six dot. Nobody wants that. Six dot. We're going to draw four west. One crack. Now, we just went through this wall. We need this wall over here now. It's okay to move the tiles around. Some people might get a little fastidious or entrenched in where the tiles lie. But you want to make room when you push out the wall because if you don't, some players won't be able to see the discards. So it's good to push the tiles out of the way, push your wall out, and pull it back. And that way everybody can see those tiles. Let's make a tail. Also, I just wanted to show you real quick how I covered my tiles. If you don't have the helping hands attachment to your rack, just put your forearm, your left forearm over your tiles and push with your right hand like that. And that way nobody can see your tiles. Some people also use their card and just hold their card up and push it like that. Either way is fine. We're gonna draw for north. Six crack, don't want it. Six crack, this player wants it. We're gonna get the six crack, put it on our rack. We're gonna add two from our hand and one of the jokers. So now we have a Kong, four of a kind, of six cracks.
we need to discard. Let's discard the one crack. And now we'll draw for south. They could have taken that flower. I forgot. But they have a joker. They can use it later. If you miss a tile, don't fret and don't say anything. Don't say, oh, oops, I missed a tile or something like that. Just keep it to yourself. There are eight flowers and only one has been discarded. So more will come. We're going to draw now. Joker. Let's discard a three crack. This player is not quite ready for it. They only have a pair and they have no jokers, so they're stuck. So we're gonna draw four west. Here we go. Let's hope for a two bam or a joker or an eight bam. One bam. You know what? We're going into the third wall. Let's get rid of the flower. I don't want to hold on to a flower too long. We're going to talk more about strategy later in the playlist. Let's get rid of the flower. Flower, recover. We're going to call that. When you call a tile, you can say call or I want that or wait. You could even say pong, kong what have you. Most, most of the time people say call. Sometimes people say take. I think that's a little aggressive, but that's up to you. You can say call, take, I want that, or I would like that, whatever you want, just to indicate that you want the tile. So we're going to take the flower, put it on our rack. We're going to take the two from our hand. We need that joker. We're going to put it in the middle and now we're going to discard a nine crack. Now this player is in a little bit of a pickle because they need a red dragon and there are two out. There's only one more. They need a pair. So if they don't get that red dragon, their hand will not be viable and they'll have to play defense. Seven dot. We don't want that. Nobody wants the seven dot, so we're going to draw. We need a two bam or an eight bam. Four bam. We only need a pair in there. Let's get rid of this one bam, though. Nobody wants a one bam, so we're going to draw. They got the seven bam. Oh. Let's discard the three bam. Nobody wants a three bam. We're going to draw east. We're going to draw four south. Green dragon. We're going to draw four west. Three bam. We want a two bam or an eight bam. Three bam. Two bam. They're playing a concealed hand. They can't take it. One bam. Seven bam. They're not ready for it. We're going to draw. There are two two bams out. They have to use this joker there. They need more jokers. There's one eight bam out. I think that's still viable. Let's draw. Six crack. This six crack can be used in exchange for a joker in a Kong over there. If you're playing a concealed hand, you're not disqualified from that benefit. If you have a natural tile, no matter what type of hand you're playing, you can claim a joker in an exposure for the natural tile. So we're going to exchange it.
When you exchange a natural tile for a joker, never reach into another player's rack to do the exchange yourself. That is considered rude. So what you wanna do is you just wanna hold it out to the player and say, exchange please. So from that end of the table, I would hold it out. Let's just say, I'm gonna exchange it. I would hold it out like this and say, exchange So please. for example, I would not do this. That's considered rude. This is not your tile, not yet. It's their tile. So you would say, exchange please. This player would take it, put it with their exposure and give you the joker. That's the nice way to do it. Gentle, be gentle, be kind. It goes a long way in Mahjong, trust me. So we're gonna take the joker and discard the four bam. And they are ready to win with an eight bam. Pung, pair, pair, pung, block of news for individual tiles. We had to make that ourselves because they're individual tiles. Here, even though we're playing a concealed hand, when we're ready to win, you can claim a discard and still be qualified for your concealed hand. So we're waiting on an eight bam. We just discarded a four bam. Green dragon. Two dot. We want that. So we're gonna say call or I'd like that. That's what I say. I say, I'd like that. I actually got a compliment from that one time. You can say it however you want though. Call, take, I'd like that, I want that. Wait, I'll take that, something like that. So we're gonna take it. Oops. So we'll put it on our rack and then we'll take the two from our hand and put it there and then discard a three crack. They need to pung the three dot, discard the one dot and be ready on a five. We'll see if it happens. They do have a joker up for grabs, four dot. There's only one out, so that joker is available. We're gonna draw Mahjong. Sometimes people say, picked it. Picked it. So then you take your tiles and you put them up on your rack in order as displayed on the card. That allows for everybody to validate the hand. So this player won with a concealed hand and they picked it themselves. So the other players would pay double the value of the hand. In this case, this is a 30 point hand. So they would say 60 all, and everybody would give them 60 points. If you're playing for money, you would pay 60 cents. So two quarters and a dime. That's a fun hand. After the hand has been validated, you just put all the tiles back on the table, turn them upside down, give them a good mix, build the walls, deal them out, play again. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. There are a lot of moving parts. Rewatch these last three videos to get a full view of what it's like to play the game. If you have any questions, write them in the comments section below the video. I am going to be talking a lot about strategy later in the playlist, so look forward to that after you get comfortable with the fundamentals.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the little gray bell after that so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.